Yep, we can all hear you. Yep. Yes, we can hear you. Yeah. Kind of technology, a new kind of uh, telescopes. A connected digital <laughs> and we are really happy to be here with you tonight i'm anna i'm part of the customer care team and victoria works with me uh in communication um we are supposed to have jan with us who's our technical expert unfortunately he's stuck in traffic jams so uh, we'll pick him up in a few minutes, hopefully. Uh, but in the meantime, we have with us uh, Luke and Barry, and I am particularly happy to have both of them because we've been talking since forever. Uh, Barry is our first European and English speaking beta tester, and he discovered the product uh, like exclusively, let's say, last year in October, and <laughs> I've been yeah, using we go it. way back. Yes, yeah. way back, exactly. And um, that's a great experience uh, for us to have better testers, and uh, I think that Barry was happy also to discover the product uh, first. Let's say like that. And Luke has been very supportive since forever and he's been using his Eviscope since January as far as I remember and we are also delighted to have him uh, on board. So guys can you probably uh, Barry first just introduce yourself uh, tell us your story with the Eviscope how you discovered uh, Unistella what you've been doing with the, your Eviscope things like that. Mari, can you hear me? Yeah, sure. Um, can everyone hear me okay? Yes. Is, is the sound okay? Yeah. Yes, yeah, it's clear. Okay. Super. Um, okay, so, um, so my name is, yeah, we can hear you. 
Yeah. yeah. Can you hear me as well? Yeah. 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 Loud and clear. Yeah. All right. Good. Um, so, uh, so my name is Barry Wilthagen. Um, I'm from the Netherlands, actually the south of the Netherlands, in the area of uh, uh, Breda, which sits somewhere between uh, Rotterdam and Antwerp, um, if you if you know it. Um, I've uh, ever since I was a, a kid, really, I was interested in uh, you know anything that had to do with science, and particularly uh, the universe and astronomy. And uh, I remember as a kid, I had a uh, telescope. Uh, but I found it particularly difficult uh, to, to use it. Um, and, uh, you know, it wasn't until um, I think about two years ago that for some reason I got, a, I got an award uh, from, from my job. And uh, I spent the award points on, uh, on a telescope uh, as well. Um, and, uh, you know, I played around with it. Um, and I remember it was quite easy to see things like, uh, like the moon. And, uh, but the Netherlands is actually, um, it's very difficult to find dark spots uh, in the Netherlands. So uh, whenever, uh, you know, you go out, uh, it, it takes a bit to, uh, uh, to travel, to set up, to find a, a decent spot. Um, so I, I basically used it from my balcony and, uh, and I got, always got very disappointed um, because as I said, the moon was easy. I remember I had uh, Jupiter uh, in front of the lens once uh, but, uh, but, you know, it, it wasn't the, uh, the vibrant colors or the, uh, the orange, reddish, uh, brownish that you see on the pictures. It, instead, it was just uh, bluish gray. Um, and, uh, and, and that's basically when I kind of left it. And I think it was by accident, sort of, on Kickstarter that I, uh, I found a campaign from uh, Fugini Stella. And I read about the, the features, and what particularly interested me was the fact that uh, you know light pollution, the thing that really um, uh, you know prohibited me from uh, from doing observations, uh, was less of a problem. And uh, so I signed up for it, um, got very enthusiastic in the process, and you know all the way to uh, the realization of the of the scope, I got involved in the uh, the beta test as well. Uh, so got one of the first scopes and uh, you know, have been super enthusiastic about it ever since. Uh, I've shown it to friends, uh, you know, family, uh, my kids. Uh, they all love it uh, for the simplicity uh, and uh, you know, how easy it is to operate, um, especially now with the new update where you, uh, you actually have the, uh, the app on the iPad. Um, so my kids get to use it. Uh, it's just a brilliant product. Um, and hopefully we're going to see some of that in the uh, live demonstration tonight. Yeah, so that's you. about me. I do remember actually, uh, you were one of the- first Hiya, um, I'm Luke. Um, as Anna said, I've, I've, um, I've been- It's slightly oh, lagging, it's not a big deal. Sorry. Go on. Yeah, Luke. We are, we are oh, right. Okay. Now. Sorry. I was... <laughs> <laughs> no, my name's Luke. I've been, um, I've, I remember about, I think it was about two years ago, two and a half years ago, I see um, uh, a BBC, um, like bite size about uh, CES and um, how this revolutionary telescope was coming out. And I was uh, quite excited by it. I've never been. Um, I wouldn't say I've ever owned telescopes or anything like that before, but I've always been interested in science, you know, probably in a science fiction way. But um, I see this and I loved it. And um, I looked into astrophotography, how complicated some, like, I've, I've seen how, how much effort, some time you can put into. I've, I've took this out to places where people are setting up and I've set up in like one or two minutes and it's like, <laughs> it blows people's minds, and I, and I love that, and I do love the simplicity of it. I'm not, you know, I've learned a lot with it, but I haven't not learned a lot before it, you know. Um, it's, it's my favorite thing I own by, oh, by far. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I can relate to that. I'm completely yeah. amazed by your unboxing video. I was absolutely <laughs> excited, that was very funny. Um, great experience. We have uh, our host back actually. Uh, sorry, he's late. Yeah, I'm late. I know I'm late. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm, 
I'm very sorry. Hey, yeah. What did I miss? What did I miss? Uh, you missed all the good introductions. Okay. Oh, all right. okay. Well, he's better than myself. I'm not really a proficient, but he'll probably uh, catch this up. <laughs> I try, this. I try. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I've, um, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. No, I just wanted to finish off by saying um, I I think that this is like literally, I don't think you could, uh, it's for me, like the EV scope is like, it's almost like the evolved telescope. Do you know what I mean? It's it, it's it's a, a thing that's existed for quite a long time, but has never changed. And someone's looked at, at it and just gone, "Oh no, you make that better." You know, it's. I just think it's amazing. It's, it's yeah, brilliant. it's kind of the leap from, uh, like you said, Luke. It's kind of the leap from uh, from horsepower to the steam engine. Uh, that, that I, just, of... I, I always say to people, it's like the Nokia thirty three ten. And then yeah. the iPhone 11 just coming out all, all of a sudden. It's, yeah. it's that much of a leap. It's, I know this technology has existed for years, you know, you know, you know, being able to take pictures of, you know, stars, but to be able to do it and, and for my level of understanding, you know, I've, you know, I don't know, you know, a great deal about space and how it works, but I like to observe it. No, no, <laughs> you know, and it's easy. No one knows you can, it can be that easy for you. Hey, by yeah, the way, totally Barry, where are, that, are you right now, Barry? Where, where are you? Uh, I think you, you a lot of people will will get into astronomy uh, because of that. Um, uh, like I said, you know, I... I mean, I'm here. Sorry. Yeah, that's, that's what I like. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm actually in the car uh, because I'm out in the countryside. Um, cause, um, close to home, there's, uh, there's a lot of, uh, countryside and farmlands. Okay, oh, sorry about that. So, yeah, actually you look like you're um, stuck so, in, um, so I'm out in, in the countryside. <laughs> That's cool. Is that, so all right. Maybe we can begin? No? Can you guys hear um, me okay? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We did the presentation, so yeah. Uh, which one of you want to start? <laughs> I just said to Luke, it looks like uh, the cover of Bohemian Rhapsody, the album. <laughs> yeah, right, bye bye, right. it's cool. <laughs> well, a, yeah, okay, yeah, guys. So uh, basically, uh, right. so so me and Luke, we um we, we had a bit of a of a chat. Some uh, we exchanged some ideas. Um. So I, I can start with uh, with some some moonshots. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we we don't really know if we if you uh, if you hear us. Uh, yeah. Not. I mean, we, right. we know you. We know you can hear us, but. So Barry, you could, connected, you yeah. could start right now Please by showing us some uh, really nice shot of the uh, sorry, really nice images of the moon. So go ahead. We are we are uh, we can't wait to see what you can you can show us. No problem. So uh, yeah. Looks like there is a terrible lag. That yeah, we're going to... Terrible, terrible. Okay, yeah. but no problem. Well, this is just like you know things. Sure. Happen. All right. Let's uh, <laughs> just check if I'm uh, connected uh, to the device. Um, oh yeah, it's the same. I have the chat completely disconnected. So. Ah, okay. That's probably some kind of internet problem here. Oh, it's from us. <laughs> is it from us, or is it from elsewhere? Connected. Luke, you ready as well? You ready to show us some really nice things? What is happening here? Uh, okay, things uh, looks like uh, looks we're gonna like have to, the, we're gonna uh, have to restart everything. We're gonna have to restart all the EV scopes in the world. Yeah, this is <laughs> the busted live evening okay. tonight. <laughs> oh, okay. Screen share from Barry. Okay, cool. Is... Barry, talk to us. Barry, say something. Please. <laughs> yes. 
We can see something. Okay, we can see a uh, drawer. <laughs> that's cool. An icon. That's really great. It's really great to see something. It could be black, actually. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. Can you hear us? Absolutely. We can right. hear you. Loud okay, and clear. great. So, so, yeah, I'm actually. <laughs> Okay. Am I sharing or? Yes, you are. We see the joystick. Okay. Luke, you're still here? Yeah, but well you cut your, uh, you put your mic on mute, right? Okay, cool. Okay. Yeah, we decided that you talk too much, so. Yeah, from what, from, from what we've saw, uh, we've seen, sorry, uh, when you when you did your uh, unboxing, man, you have to do it more. You have to do it more. more you have to do more videos, more unboxing videos, because the one you did was really cool, really fun. <laughs> yeah, I already mentioned that earlier. So, great video that Blake shared with us. Thank you. Okay, Barry. Yeah. So right now we can see that you're trying to. Uh, to move your eviscope or to control it at least. Yeah, yeah. the connection is really bad on my end. Yeah, so can, that was terrible. Guys. Yeah, it's terrible on our side as well. I think we're not very lucky tonight, but let's try. Let's keep trying. Come on, we're in Marseille. That's the second biggest city in, the, in France. Yes. Should have nice connection. But it's not. I don't but think I can hear. <laughs> So no one can see anything right now. All righty. Can you hear us? Uh, at no, least? I don't think you can. There's nothing. Is it right now? Yes, yes, yes. Do you want your microphone or do you want Oh, so on va faire là, on va faire là, on va on va faire là, on uh, I, I can barely hear you guys. Luke, uh, no. can you yes, hear me? Okay? How are you doing? Yeah, I can hear you. Um, oh, that's uh, interesting. That is strange. How's, uh, <laughs> how's the moon coming? Your, um, You're just circling over to it. Moon. Yeah, actually, I'm, I'm trying to uh, to pick it up from uh, from the catalog. Um, so let me try and move to it, actually. Okay. Talking about. <laughs> Happy to be here, actually. Okay, so I put my wonderful t shirt. Because the moon. 